Okay, guys, don't wait for the conference championship games. Don't wait for the college football playoff because the regular season is the college football playoff. Here's where it gets interesting moving forward for the rest of the year. There are a lot of playoff games that are going on this week, six of them, I believe, play against each other. But as we move forward in the pro process here, you've got number one that still has to play number five and number 11, both of those games away. So dangerous path for Mississippi State. And we're not even talking about conference championship games yet. You've got Florida State with a somewhat easy schedule, if I can use that term, uh, where they would still have a conference championship game, but don't play a ranked team the rest of the year. Auburn, interesting schedule with going to Georgia, an arch rival, and then the biggest rival of all, Alabama, both games on the road. So again, this is the playoff going on before our very eyes. Oregon's got a tough game at Utah, tough place to play, and then they'll have their conference championship game. Alabama probably has the easiest and hardest road to jump up into the playoff. They've got at LSU, 8 o'clock at Death Valley this Saturday. They've got number one Mississippi State and number three Auburn. However, both games are in Tuscaloosa. So win those three, and I've got to believe Alabama, by beating an Auburn and a Mississippi State, uh, has a chance to move up. TCU, interesting matchup with number seven Kansas State that I believe would hold them in good stead uh, if they can beat Kansas State. Kansas State, other than Alabama, I believe has probably uh, the most opportunity to jump because they've got three road games against ranked teams. TCU, West Virginia, Baylor, all tough places to play. Ranked number seven, win those three, and with a tough loss to a number three Auburn, I think Kansas State and the Big 12 could find their way up into the uh, Final Four. Michigan State has Ohio State this weekend, a tough game. Ohio State's number 14 in the country and then a, a championship game afterwards. Um, Arizona State, still with Notre Dame, and Arizona, two top 20 teams, could still move up, I believe. And Notre Dame, as we talked about, just has Arizona State number nine to play. Mississippi, a heartbreaking, sickening loss uh, on Saturday. Uh, we were at that game and, and we think the world of uh, Hugh Freeze and, and feel sorry and our prayers go out to Laquan Treadwell uh, for a healthy recovery there. But tough fight game. They won a big game against Boise State in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game. Uh, they still have number one Mississippi State at home. So if anything, if they can't move up, they can play the spoiler to their arch rival in the Egg Bowl at Mississippi in November. Uh, Baylor still with two big games, two top 15 teams could possibly move up. Nebraska still has a Wisconsin, number 25, who just got ranked and could possibly play in the Big Ten Championship game. You got Ohio State, has Michigan State left to play, could play in the Big Ten Championship. Oklahoma with Baylor, LSU still has Alabama and Utah. Two tough games with number four, Oregon, and number 19, Arizona, but those games are at home and that could certainly help them. I think it's gonna be tough for these teams to really make a jump up to the top four because all of the potential here if these teams win. Now, if these teams all lose, you could see a scenario uh, uh, with some of these teams moving up. The one key point, really two key points to keep in mind here the rest of the way, all of these rankings are done without conference champions in play. The committee is taking into account scheduling, head-to-head, -head, and conference play. However, they can't adhere to one of the big criteria of conference championships because we just don't have the conference champions yet and they haven't played the game. The key point I want to make is the circle teams here, number six TCU, seven Kansas State, 10 Notre Dame, 12 Baylor, 15 Oklahoma, do not play a conference championship game. I believe this year, they could possibly need that to move up in the top four because in a conference championship game, you're gonna play a ranked upon. It's gonna help your strength of schedule. It's gonna help you become a conference champion and therefore move up. On the other side, it could help you if the Kansas State wins here and, and the votes are in and they went out the regular season and don't play against a ranked team and potentially have the chance to lose. Is that enough to get them up? into the final four. That 
Those two issues are the most intriguing issues still left to play by the selection committee in deciding who gets into the top four. But the key element, look at all these games against ranked opponents. This is college football. This is the reason why it's the most exciting regular season in all of sports because the playoffs are going on week to week right now. So enjoy college football, get out there, go see a game and make sure you go visit uh, whatever bowl game your team gets into.